everybody uh, welcome back to Shannon's Your Life uh, today as you can see we've got Ben Bulban uh, under a few clouds uh, got a big a bit of a bigger posse today uh, say hello everyone hello. all right so we've got uh, Mary hello. joining us we've got Nathan how are you getting in and of course Paddy all right okay so uh, Let's go do Ben Bulban. Ben Bulban is in the northwest of Ireland and is located just north of Sligo. Cut out by a glacier 10,000 years ago, Ben Bulban is a unique land feature and part of the Dartry Mountains. We began our trail just past the North Rock Face. From there, we left the cars and followed the road. You will come to a small bridge that leads to a dirt road. Eventually the dirt road will stop and it will be boggy terrain from there on in. Keep making your way towards the waterfall. There's a too. Oh yeah. First impressions Nathan? Savage. Nice little entry point there you know. Yeah. Weather hopefully will uh, clear you know. Hopefully now, hopefully now. It's, it's seeming to push away. A bit of sunshine there. Yeah. Mary, first impressions? Uh, a little bit daunting with all the mist. Okay. Okay. But excited for it. So uh, we've come off the path. Uh, it starts to get a bit boggy then after this. You can see the terrain has changed a bit. Uh, clouds slightly moving away. Not too bad. Paddy, you ready for an old bog stroll, are you? Uh, I'm surely. Good, 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 good. good. So, yeah, yeah, so we've literally got to find our way. We're still heading towards the waterfall. We'll be uh, climbing up that way. So, fingers crossed those clouds start to dissipate a bit. But we'll see what happens. Once you reach the bottom of the waterfall, begin to head upstream. This will be the toughest part of, of your journey. famous one would be the story of uh, Dermot and Gronia. This of course was one of the hunting places for Nafinia, a band of Irish warriors in Irish mythology. And you can just imagine Taking a drink out of the waterfall there beside us, looking out over the land, searching for prey to hunt. We now headed up in a northerly direction along the edge. Along the top, it's quite boggy but relatively flat. So we've managed to get up uh, past the waterfall. Uh, as you can see, the clouds quite thick. It can get quite dangerous. Uh, so we're just going to have to take our time, be cautious, and uh, make our way there slowly. So 
but this mountain's slowly starting to reveal its wonders to us. So, we made it where we need to go. Uh, and unfortunately the weather has not been too uh, kind to us. Um, see the guys there. Uh, unfortunately, we just we just weren't able to uh, get some of the amazing views. But even so, there's still a, a wild magic to the place. There's an amazing feel to the place and a sense of achievement. Got here safely. Uh, but as always, you have to get down safely as well. From here we headed back in a southeasterly direction, following the easier south slope. Caution is needed, as there will be a few fences along this route. Once past the fences, we made our way to the more gentle slope, and followed around the base of the rock face. Took a quick break at the side. How's everybody doing? Good. Good. <laughs> Got Paddy. <laughs> Got Paddy half half bite. Mary. Yeah. Good. 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 Nathan. Mighty. Having a little bit of a sanger. Having a bit of a sandwich. You had a few berries earlier on. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good so far. Yeah. What kind yeah. of berries were they? They were blueberries. Blueberries. Oh, yeah. blueberries. Okay. Mary had a blueberry as well, didn't you, Mary? You see, dizzy. You're feeling dizzy. lesson to everybody, don't eat stuff on the side of a mountain. <laughs> so the clouds really did defeat us, unfortunately. But they really create a special effect. You can really see the magic within this land, absolute fantastic nature, fantastic scenery and of course as I mentioned before steeped in history uh, one of the main one of the big tales, the legends of Gronje and, and Jermid Jermid was part of the Fenia the legendary band of warriors, Irish warriors, Gaelic warriors, and he fell in love with Gronia, and they fell in love with each other, and they basically ran from Finn McCoon, the leader of the of Nafinia, and they're supposed to have settled here, in Amben Bulban, after being pursued for so long. And it was here where Jermid, gorged by a boar, died. Jermid's death, of course, was not the only death on this mountain. In recent history, there have been a number of deaths. During the Irish Civil War, there was... Anti-treaty forces were caught here. In retaliation for after killing a brigadier in the... Irish Free State Forces. They were cornered here somewhere and killed. And also during World War II, a US bomber crash landed here on these slopes. 
some were saved, some died. But the, with the wild Irish landscape, can be a harsh thing indeed. From here we followed the rock face once more, once on the road, follow it until you complete your loop. I think the true magic of Ben Bulban is when you get a dramatic cloud like this over it. It just, it's just an apps, it's just an incredible rock feature it almost reminds me of some sort of ancient ruin to a civilization lost in time you can just imagine some sort of fortification or citadel sitting on top of of that it fills you with wonder it fills you with Oh, the power of nature, of course we know. A quite poignant, I think, an image that. You have the death of Jermyn. But what sparks of imagination have been created by this mountain? What stories have been conjured by the people that have been living here for thousands of years? All now lost to time. And as I look at the rock face being slowly eaten away by the power of nature, I can only think that nothing lasts forever and that we should cherish life as much as possible, grasp it, and enjoy it to the last. So that's us completed Ben Bulban. Um, terribly, terribly enjoyable. Uh, really, really had a nice time. Mary? Yes, it was amazing. I'm glad I did it. As you said, Michael, step outside your comfort zone. Nathan? Yeah. Very enjoyable hike, nice duration, not too long, nice, perfect, can't really say a bad word about it. Okay, cool, excellent, <laughs> excellent. And Paddy? Yeah, that's good. Go on, show us your Mayo jersey. Come on, Mayo! Come on, Mayo! I knew I'd get him in a Mayo jersey. <laughs> okay, so from Bell Bulban, thank you guys and take care. Did you just like that video and want to join us on our next adventure please hit that subscribe button if you just like this video please give us a like we're on instagram where you can get all the behind the scenes footage and pictures so please follow us thank you very much for watching take care and goodbye <laughs>